that uh, people really know what it's doing in the bacterium, but uh, it's been known since 1892. Uh, it, it was uh, called endotoxin to distinguish it from the older known bacterial toxins that the, the bacteria, in effect, secrete to uh, poison uh, something in their environment. And supposedly the endotoxin uh, it only comes out when the bacterium is uh, uh, broken apart. But I think, actually, it uh, leaks a little bit all the time. Hmm. So I wouldn't say that it's strictly an endotoxin like the textbooks used to say. Okay. Um, that it's it's a, a somewhat of a structural protein, but it's a, a medium to smallish molecule that can leak out in the process of of uh, growth and cell division and so on. And it, its other name is lipopolysaccharide uh, because it, its structure is a chain of sugar molecules with uh, fatty acids attached. And uh, that gives it kind of a, a soap-like uh, behavior that uh, is part of, part of why it's uh, toxic uh, so generally. And they are so common in the environment that uh, organisms have their uh, basic defenses against them. One of our basic defenses is uh, the uh, high-density lipoprotein. Okay. Uh, and it, uh, they talk about it in terms of uh, carrying cholesterol, but uh, I think really its its uh, historic main function is that it's it's our first uh, defense against endotoxin once the endotoxin gets into the bloodstream. Uh, but uh, normally, the uh, the intestine is a good barrier against. Uh, absorbing the endotoxins, and if if some of it leaks through the uh, wall of the intestine into the blood vessels and gets carried to the liver, uh, the liver enzymes uh, break it down, and uh, so it shouldn't uh, normally reach the bloodstream in significant amounts. Right. But uh, it's a, a, a matter of uh, tens of milligrams that, that can circulate into the bloodstream every day. 